The 6.5 is on the road here at HPE Discover 2025 in Las Vegas. Daniel, it's been a great show so far. And really the discussion has been around three things. It's been around AI, hybrid cloud, and networking. Yeah, it really has. And it's, it's hard to really put AI even in its own bucket. You know, as you listen, we hear about networking with agents, we hear about storage with agents, we hear about, you know, the future of compute, memory, and throughput, and bandwidth, yeah. so why? So we can do more AI. But I think right now, HPE, you see they've rebranded themselves. They're sort of redefining the company. Yeah. And I think they're putting those clear categories where I think they have real market leadership, and they've yeah. been further defining that throughout the show here at Discover. They have, and one of my favorite topics is compute. I like and compute. if you look at HPE, I mean, it, it's still very core to their business. You know, you and I look at their earnings every single quarter, and I think the first thing I look for is compute, and maybe after that, uh, GreenLake. That's funny, I look at GreenLake, <laughs> uh, you know, because I still remember Antonio going on stage first time saying everything will be a service, and I think it's become a multi-billion dollar run rate business right. now with really high ARR growth, which sometimes I think the street doesn't get that valuation right, but you know, people like us hopefully will continue to tell that story and the market will get that. Yeah. But of course, compute is such a deep, there's so much provenance inside of this company and their compute is everywhere. Well, and compute is, seems to be everything now out there. So let's stop talking about ourselves and bring in our uh, guests. Krista, great to see you. Great to see you too. Gosh, it's great to our touch points. I mean, we were there uh, with the launch of Gen 12 back in February. It's great to chat with your team and, and you as well. Congratulations on that. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'm really excited about it. And we continue to advance Gen 12. So this week we're announcing that we're doing our AMD platforms. So we now have AMD Gen 12s and they're gonna have twice the memory as the other AMD servers okay. that we have. And uh, great for virtualization, as a service, containers, VDI. So we're really excited about that. And the, a couple of other announcements. Yeah. Uh, uh, Compute Ops Management. We have enhancements there too. We've enhanced Compute Ops Management where it not only can see HPE servers, but other people's servers. How about that? Yeah, so, uh, so we're excited yeah. uh, to bring that innovation. Couple other ones. Um, we have something called Active Health System, and we've had this for a long time. Sure. And it's our way, I kind of, it's almost like a black box for an airplane. If something goes wrong, we go to Active Health when we're trying to figure out what happened and see kind of what the challenges, yeah. what's happened. Uh, we're now um, surfacing that information through COM to make things a lot easier for us to diagnose. And the third new thing with Com, and we have a lot of new uh, sure. features with Com. The third new thing with Com is that now that uh, we're able to do a little bit more when it comes to uh, allowing security um, permissions. Sure. So, uh, so people don't mis make mistakes when they're messing with the server. Only this person can do this. This yeah. person can do that. So Com has been a, a rock star for us and we continue to improve it. That's okay. great. Kind of a multi-tenancy where you yes. can have different, you know, rights and permissions and of course, mm -hmm. very, very important. And we'll come back to Com. Uh, we'll talk to you a little bit more about that okay. in a few minutes. Curious though, you know, you've, you, you, you sort of announced, Pat loves to use the term payload. Uh, that's become our new thing when we talk about all the new stuff companies announce right. at events. We're, we're professional event attenders. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> like this is literally, something we do like probably a hundred events a year yeah. on the ground, not to count the ones we do remote. Um, but you know, in the first hour since you've been able to spill and actually talk about your board, because I know when you're running a business like you are, that's kind of the fun moment. You start hearing from your customers, your partners. What, right. What's kind of that first, What's that first reaction? Yeah, the uh, reaction is on Gen 12 has been yeah. really, really strong and positive. Um, it's really a, a no-brainer value prop. I mean, when you look at the performance and efficiency yeah. enhancements, uh, I'll just give you kind of a, a idea of the magnitude. Uh, Gen 10, which we're still shipping, uh, compared to Gen 12, you would need seven Gen 10s to equal the performance of one Gen 12, and you save 65% yeah. on power. When people see that, 
they realize, oh, and you know, it's funny, uh, Gen 10 is just like the beginning. A lot of people have older stuff. Right. They have Gen 9, Gen 8, and the, the, you know, the magnitude of the advancements, not only around performance and, um, and power, but also security. People are running on stuff that is from 10, 15 years ago. They're not running on the latest stuff. We also have people, a lot of times, uh, there'll be an old server and then they want the new OS supported. And I'm like, I can't help you. Not even the ISV will, will do that for you. Right. Uh, so there's so many different reasons to upgrade. And Gen 12 just provides that, you know, the case for refresh has never been stronger when they see that. Right. Hey, I want to do the double click on Compute Ops Management, yeah. AKA COM. Mm -hmm. I know Dan used the word COM, so I'm just going to go with it and maybe explain it to folks. Can you talk a little bit about the value prop and how are customers responding to this? Um, the value prop is, well, first of all, what it is is our cloud-based management. And you can manage any server from anywhere. Yeah. And uh, this is especially important when you have distributed sites. And a lot of times people would have to have a server around and able to have a management server around. You don't need that. You can see everything and we have map-based views making things really easy to see what the health is. Right. Um, the feedback has been great, especially with distributed sites. We're winning deals because yeah. of Com. It's differentiated. No one has a tool like this. And we've recently, within the last six months or so, enabled MSP functionality. So now our partners okay. can manage on behalf of their customers and run their monitoring services much more easily. So I was at a distributor and they were showing me uh, what they show customers when they come into the um, demo room. And they said, yeah, we show off Calm all the time. And <laughs> once I show it to them, they get it right away. Right. Because what they're doing now is they're using a USB, right. downloading something, driving to a site and updating the server that way. So it's like, don't do it the hard way. <laughs> yeah, so it's, yeah, it's interesting. Uh, GreenLake uh, introduced the element of pay as you go like the cloud did. So it's having that, but it's on-prem. And it seems like Com also enables some of the things that people like about the cloud, yeah. but the ability to do it on multiple prems and also be able to, I don't know, spread the wealth instead of having five admins, you know, one per site, mm -hmm. you can maybe consolidate and have one admin or two admins managing. Is it, is it am I understanding this correctly? You are understanding it correctly. And we've actually um, had, we have an ROI calculator, so you can see how much you can sa save okay. using Com, uh, just by answering some a few questions on our site. Um, and what I would say is that um, the people that try Com, they, they give it a try in their environment. There's one actually that's here at Discover. Once they try it, they're, they're a hotel chain. Once they try it, they, they don't want anything that doesn't have it. Right. Because it makes it so much easier to see everything at once and do everything you need to do. And it's hooked into the GreenLake platform. Okay. So it's got the security of GreenLake. It's got the look and feel. So it's something that's familiar to customers. Excellent. Yeah. So it's almost an odd thing for me to ask you, but I'm going to, <laughs> because we spend all of our time talking AI, mm -hmm. but in your world, the, in the compute world, I'm not just talking about AI factories, right? We're in this kind of moment where everything feels like it's going AI, but there's still a lot of other workloads. Yep. And gosh, do we, have we just forgotten, but like, I mean. Well, we've sort of met, you know, we've, it, we've kind of gotten into this, hey, you have to modernize to do AI, but you should have been modernizing in the first place. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's just so much going on. And, and so you, you know, are building these incredibly powerful mm -hmm. seven to one, mm -hmm. two generations, great. But like, what are the other workloads besides? Because it, it does feel like if I'm an enterprise, because enterprise adoption, Krista, is, it's moving, but it's not on AI. It's still, it's, it's, it's much in the more very gradual beginning. Yes. than the hyperscale yes. or consumer applications that we're seeing. They're still running their big databases and they're still running their enterprise apps and their ERPs and their, and their supply chain softwares and That's everything right. else 
on traditional compute, x86, maybe some of that's been ported to ARM, but it's not all on GPUs. Mm -hmm. Like, what are you seeing? What are those workloads that are driving business for you that aren't just tying to AI factories? Yeah, so two things that are growing a lot. Uh, one, VDI. Okay. Because of that performance I just spoke of, right. um, what's happening is more and more c people can put higher and higher power users on the VDI implementations, where they tried to do that before, and I've, I've even talked to people who tried yeah, to do that, good. and it's like, you had to take me off of this, this is not working. Right. So they can only put like their task workers on, but not their knowledge workers. Yeah. Now we're seeing them putting engineers on VDI, okay. animation <laughs> on VDI, um, and with security concerns, and people not wanting people to walk around yeah. with uh, you know, the company data, uh, more and more people are looking to VDI. So the ones that are doing it, what I see them doing is going up in terms of functionality and who they're putting on. And then I see people just starting VDI um, because the performance is there. Uh, for, you know, early VDI days, you were really limited. Now sure. it's like the, the, the uh, lid has lifted and many, many people are, are taking advantage of that. So that's one. Okay. Second one is edge. More and more being done at the edge. And um, we have a new platform called the DL145, and it was custom made for edge. And it's kind of a funny story because here at Discover, uh, we were talking to one of our sales leaders that calls on US retail. And she was telling us, you don't have what my customer needs. Right. And I'm thinking, surely we do. Right. We have so many servers. <laughs> She just needs to understand what are, is what's in the portfolio and what's the right fit. Well, turns out we didn't have what she needed. So we built it with her, with her team, with her customers. Uh, it is compact. It's quiet. It can withstand vibration, extreme temperatures. Right. I'm talking like negative 5 degrees C to 55 degrees C. So up to like 131 degrees Fahrenheit. You could put it on a wall, a desk, a cabinet. It's got dust filters, three GPUs. So if you want to do computer vision, you can. Uh, so we're really excited about that. And so that with Calm at the edge, great combination. And what we're seeing is the, the gear at the edge is a lot of times even more dated than the gear in the data center because they don't refresh those very Right, because it's so close to OT versus yes, IT. it is. Yeah. And the environments that they have to live in, uh, I call it the Wild West. You know, you never know what you're going to have to sure. deal with. Um, so people are, are interested and excited about something that was purpose-built for Edge, yeah. just well-designed, even down to the security physical security of the box. Um, if, if, the, if, the, if the server's unplugged and you open the, the server, you put the lid back on, you plug it in, it knows it's been opened. So we've thought of everything, so it's just right. a really well-designed platform. Excellent. Yeah, it's, a, it's been a pretty significant part of HPE's legacy, the IoT platforms yeah. for many years building that hard. So it's kind of interesting that it actually was discovered because the way you're telling your story, I'm like, oh, you had it. And then you're like, yeah. we actually didn't have it. <laughs> yeah, it's we, like, whoa. We didn't exactly didn't have, have exactly. what was needed. But what an example of building and, and designing for your customer. So we have just a moment left. I would love to ask, you know, I, I, I'm going to do my best to try to ask a question like you do. Um, I know you have many announcements. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like your children when yes. you're running a business. Um, what are you most fired up? And by the way, not, maybe not even in your portfolio. What is the thing that HPE announced here at Discover that you're like, this is big for us. It's going to take us forward. Um, you can pick one of yours. But so you I would say the Green Lake Intelligence. Okay. I have to say, uh, I, I um, think that's going to be a bit of a game changer. So I'm excited about that one. I'm excited about my own as well. Yeah. But yeah. By the way, I, I picked that one too. Oh, did you? Uh, okay. I, you know, I'm a recovering product person, <laughs> uh, but I still have it in me. Yes. I think I even used the word core value proposition. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, this works. Yes. You just need to deliver it and customers need to sign up for this. Well, in the yes. spirit of the Inter-Miami uh, partnership, I can say I'm a huge soccer fan. <laughs> I can go to the games. My son plays. I can watch him play, but I can gladly look at the other team and be like, that's the little Leo Messi. Yeah, that's Green Lake Intelligence. You can still love watching your kid play, but you might have seen Leo Messi on one of the other announcements. Exactly. But, uh, Krista, 
so much fun having you chat. Let's uh, let's do this again sometime. Love to. Oh, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, thank, thank you. Thank you, everybody, for joining us here. We are the 6-5. We are on the road here at HPE Discover 2025 in Las Vegas. Hit subscribe. Join us for all of our coverage here. So many great segments to choose from. We appreciate you being part of our community. We got to go. We'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.